Hey fellow adventurers and lore seekers, welcome back to Joystick News, where today we're diving deep into the heart of Dragon's Dogma 2's lore to unravel the enigma that is the Pathfinder. Strap in because this journey will take us through twists and turns in the narrative that have left many players both intrigued and bewildered. Beware, spoilers lie ahead, so if you've yet to complete your journey in Dragon's Dogma 2, consider this your friendly warning. The Enigma of the Pathfinder In the rich, fantastical world of Dragon's Dogma 2, amidst the valiant knights and arcane mysteries, stands a figure shrouded in secrecy, the Pathfinder. This character, elusive as a shadow, drifts through the narrative, guiding, influencing, but rarely revealing their true nature or intentions. From the onset, the Pathfinder presents a puzzle. Appearing at critical junctures, their interactions with the player are fleeting yet impactful, leaving a trail of questions in their wake. But who is this mysterious figure and what role do they truly play in the grand design of Dragon's Dogma 2's universe? The Great Will and the Cycle As we near the end of our quest, the veil begins to lift on the Pathfinder's identity and purpose. It is revealed that they are an emissary of the Great Will, the creator of the world and architect behind the cyclical battle between the Dragon and the Arisen. This cycle, designed to prevent the world's descent into oblivion, casts the dragon as the harbinger of destruction and the arisen as its nemesis, a hero destined to renew life. The Great Will, weary of watching worlds crumble into nothingness, devised this cycle as a means to preserve life. The Pathfinder, as we learn, is not just a servant, but an embodiment of the Great Will's intentions, guiding the Arisen towards their destiny to continue the cycle of renewal and destruction. The Twist of Fate In a compelling twist, the final confrontation reveals the dragon itself to be the Pathfinder. This moment is the culmination of the Arisen's journey, a test of wills where the Pathfinder offers one last chance to embrace the cycle. Yet in choosing to defy this ordained path, the Arisen and their pawn strike a blow for free will, plunging the empowered Godsbane blade into the heart of the dragon, ending the cycle once and for all. The Cost of Freedom With the Pathfinder's demise, the world is reborn, free from the chains of destiny that the Great Will had forged. It's a moment of triumph, yet bittersweet, for in breaking the cycle, the world is once again vulnerable to the void it was designed to avoid. The future is uncertain, a canvas on which the remnants of humanity can paint their destiny, untethered from the will of a higher power. Reflecting on the journey. Dragon's Dogma 2 challenges us to ponder the nature of fate, freedom, and the cost of breaking free from the designs of higher powers. The Pathfinder, in all their mystery, serves as a mirror reflecting our own struggles with destiny and the choices that define us. As we close the chapter on this epic tale, we're left to wonder about the paths not taken and the cycles yet unbroken in worlds beyond our own. The saga of the Pathfinder and the Arisen is a testament to the enduring spirit of adventure and the quest for understanding in the vast, uncharted territories of gaming lore. Your thoughts? What did you make of the Pathfinder's role in Dragon's Dogma 2? Were you satisfied with the revelations and the conclusion of their arc? Share your thoughts, theories, and reflections in the comments below. And as always, for more deep dives into your favorite games and the mysteries that lie within, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Until next time, keep questing, keep exploring, and remember, in the world of Dragon's Dogma, the only true path is the one you carve for yourself. Happy gaming.